This is David with DC Appliance Repair bringing you another how-to diagnostic video. Hope you enjoy. Hey everybody, this is David with DC Appliance Repair bringing you another diagnostic video. I've got the same uh, top bottle refrigerator out here. And what I'm going to be talking about today is your uh, relay on your compressor. And uh, it don't matter if it's a top and bottom, side by side, or a French door. All these refrigerators is going to have a relay and they're going to do the same thing and they're going to let you know when they go bad they do the same thing. They all got this problem. They can be a little tricky sometimes but uh, a lot of times you can figure out what the problem is and get it fixed pretty cheap and have your refrigerator back cooling again. So okay here we are. Here's a uh, here's your start relay. What I need you to do is uh, plug your refrigerator, slide it back out of the hole and Remove your, uh, you know, you got you're gonna have a little panel here, and it's normally held by, uh, you know, a couple uh, quarter inch uh, screws there. And uh, once you get that off, you're gonna have your relay that's sitting right here on the side of your compressor. Sometimes it could be on the other side, going where your compressor setting it on your refrigerator. And while your refrigerator is unplugged, I need you to plug it back up and listen. <laughs> Make sure you got everything, you know turn down in your house or where you can hear it real well and uh, you're gonna hear some clicking and uh, if you hear it clicking sometimes it'll click and maybe 10 seconds later it'll click again hold on y'all let me let this helicopter go by and and when you hear this relay clicking down here like it clicking you'll hear it you'll be able to hear it that's gonna let you know that your relay is bad so what you're gonna do you gotta you can see this little metal piece is sitting up here in the top here. Not this line, but the other little metal piece is sitting up there. It's holding your relay in. And you can get a flat blade and pop that off and pull it out. Now, to know if this relay is bad or not, a lot of times you can shake it. If you hear it rattling or if you have little pieces fall out in your hand, or you can even smell it a lot of times. If, if, if any of these three things, if you shake it, hear it, or smell it, that's going to let you know that your relay is bad. A lot of times you can get these pretty cheap. Uh, 15 to, you know, the, I have got them up to 60 bucks. It's called what brand you got on there. And basically, uh, a lot of times, um, they uh, you're going to have to do some uh, cutting on the wires. And I'll do another video on how to do this. But I just kind of want to let you know what's going on with the refrigerator. And... You know, if you're a little bit mechanically inclined, they'll show you how to do it on the paperwork. But a lot of times they do, sometimes they don't. But uh, this is David with DC Appliance Repair. I'll do another video on installing these. Today I'm just kind of going through and uh, just pointing out some things on this refrigerator while I got it out here. Alrighty. Thank you. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.